What is up guys? In today's video we're gonna have another spectating random players in Fortnite Zero Build, but before I die and hand over my crown, just a quick shout out from today's sponsor. So just a quick shout out to today's sponsor in the video and that is gonna be the coldest water. They make over-engineered insulated water bottles that are designed to keep your water cold for up to 36 hours and they also have several other products that are designed to stay cold for a long time, including pillows, which is really dope. There will be a link down in the description where you can check them out. And they're the sponsor for today's video. Thanks for watching. But I guess we're going to be going Coney because this seemed like the most hot POI for this bus angle. Kind of hoping to go Rocky, but uh, Rocky wouldn't have been as good for this bus. So I think Coney, there will be a decent amount of players here. And Coney has changed up a lot since the last video I made on this with the tilted building being here now, as well as the POI itself floating to avoid the chrome. Coney is like a very different POI this season, even though it is mostly the same, so... Pretty interesting changes we have over the course of this season. Kill me please. Why do you, why is it always a struggle? He didn't have ammo for the ranger AR. The other guy stole the ammo. We're gonna get this guy killed, bro. Come on. Please let me. I gotta like go ham on them with the pickaxe before they'll kill me. This guy's ready for Christmas, so he's got the elf skin as well as a candy cane pickaxe. Should have his chrome shot. He upgraded a decent amount now. Yeah, he has a blue rarity. He's lighting his own house on fire. Alrighty then. That was not the play. Controversial statement there, but I don't think lighting yourself on fire is the play. Um, and that kind of griefs our entire thing we're trying to do here. Hopefully this puts somebody in Coney. I guess we'll spectate this person at Flutter Barn. They're peeling up with a chug, a keg. They have a Ranger AR, a Rapid Fire SMG. It sounds like there's a drone shooting outside of them. Whenever I just hear someone shooting the rap, the Ranger AR in short bursts like that, I always think it's an AI. Especially, I don't know. It's just like the AI always be using Ranger ARs. They're zipping up on him. This is another POI that's now floating. Is a DMR out here? I feel like, yeah, okay. You want to have the SMG out. This is good. Now he has a shotgun. Doesn't really know anything about this player that's pushing him though. It's not like he got opening tags. Seems like he's just trying to get height. There's also people fighting on the neighboring building that he could potentially get shots on. And then that would also probably encourage the guy underneath him to push him. So doesn't really see anybody. He's going to use the vent to get across. But there were players just fighting over here as well as a person underneath him. So now he kind of runs the risk of like getting involved in this fight here and then getting third partied by the person that was underneath him. Um, I don't know where the people are that were here. I don't know. It's a whole bunch of nothing. And I feel like that's a lot of what can happen with these new POIs that are floating. There's, like, one, the POI is floating, so there's just way more verticality to it. But there's also, like, the zip lines that go up, and then, like, the vents that make you fly as well. There's just so much that can go on in a fight, and so, like, much that can allow someone to, like, get away from you or drag out time in a fight. He's getting two gun. I think this player is, oh, he just got good tags there, but he's getting shot in the back from the player underneath him, like I was talking about. Like, him pushing across there and then leaving that player behind him was kind of detrimental. It probably would have been better just to wait in the building for that player, or see if you can get tags from up top and then encourage that player to push you. I think the person that just shot across ended up killing the person who had the goo gun. He's going to get this med kit off for sure. Oh my gosh, he messed it up. No. This player is shambles. Even if they do get this off, that other player that was across seems pretty good. They were beaming him with the, the Cobra DMR. The thing kills so fast if you hit your shots. Which he has a Cobra DMR as well. I'm surprised he went for the green Ranger AR instead of the white Prime. Personally, I like the Prime more than the Ranger AR, especially for zero builds. I, I feel like you can make the Ranger AR work in builds modes. Or not the Ranger AR, sorry, the Ranger Shotgun. You can make it work in build mode a little bit better if you're someone who kind of likes to kite back during a build fight and just kind of keep height and shoot down on people. But in zero builds, only shooting one shotgun shot and then having to reload, I feel like is very detrimental. Unless you also kind of just play to keep range. But if you're in like somewhat of a neutral shotgun fight where you and the opponent are kind of just both close to each other and you're trading shots, just tagging them for 100 isn't as much of a guarantee on the kill as it is in build mode. Because we have the overshield, let's just say the opponent is 250 and you hit them 100, they still have 150 health. And melting someone from 150 to 0 with your SMG 
probably isn't gonna happen i mean it's unlikely to happen but being able to like use the prime shotgun shoot swap to your smg or your ar shoot a few shots and swap back to the shotgun and get multiple shotgun shots off in a single fight i feel like it's really good in zero build and it's the same thing was true with the striker pump back in the day in zero build um but having the ranger shotgun just be kind of like one and done for the fight i think is very like not very good for zero builds i know a lot of people like it but i i feel like you're just very limited see like right there he misses a shot if this other if this other person got in close during that like that would not have been good i don't understand what they're trying to do i kind of hope they get into a situation where they're like trading shots like the ranger shotty player here needs to just get tags and then maybe back up and reposition but if the lever shotgun player is able to make this like a like scuffed fight i feel like the lever will win he hit a good shot there so this is perfect for the ranger he got a shot off and did it take anything he can oh he missed but as you saw there the player with this shotgun didn't really use their advantage like had they just like got in and made that fight messy for this player and then he wouldn't have just had free time to reload and i guess that's a better way to describe it for like messy fights i don't think the ranger shotgun is as good and for those kind of more chill fights that are easy to win anyways i feel like you would have won it no matter what you know like he could have played the same that way there with a prime shotgun as well and won that fight but he also would have more like reactability if he does get into a messy fight and we'll see if that ends up costing them at some point in this game but i feel like if you fight a decent player they're not just gonna let you like chill like that i think they can kill this player they didn't break shield they broke over shield but they didn't break full shield so this player still has uh shield left those minis would be helpful because the person we're spectating also doesn't have much shield they just have 160 total oh the person he shot left he, you want to go back up for those minis 100 percent i've also had people ask me this might be a decent time to talk about this we'll see i've had people ask me to make this like a video like this for team game modes and i have done that in the past but i have a few of like duos and squads but it's just weird to do because with spectating if you're spectating somebody and then you swap you don't immediately just switch to their teammates and so much of the team game modes are obviously how you work with your teammates and there's a lot of like playing off of what's in your teammates inventory to an extent and you know splitting the more situational items among the squad and all right gg's that was a drone um not being able to spectate everybody in the team easily i feel like it just makes something like this not really work for team game modes is he gonna take that prime shotgun so personally what i would do if this i was this player i don't like using double ar and smg i've often been running double ar this season because i think the chrome burst is insane when combined with a shotgun i've like many videos showing it but i feel like if you're gonna run double ar you just use cobra dmr i'm, I'm calling the cobra dmr and ar in this sense because i kind of think of the weapons more about like the ranges they're good at and not necessarily what type of weapon they are but you're using the cobra dmr to fill like medium to long range fights right so I feel like you don't need both the Cobra DMR, the Hammer AR, and then also an SMG. I, I feel like you're just carrying way too many guns at that point, and zero build mobility is so important. If you've watched my channel for any length of time or even played zero build for any length of time, you're probably very aware that mobility is super important. So if I was this player, I don't know if they've came across any mobility, but I feel like you could make Cobra DMR, Hammer AR, Shotgun, and then heals and mobility work quite fine. Um, the Hammer AR and both the evo chrome burst can kind of fill the void of an smg and kind of the close medium range because the dmr isn't that good at that uh because the smgs really aren't that amazing this season the rapid fire can be good i feel like at the purple and gold rarities when you have 26 rounds in the mag but yeah i feel like right now just carrying four guns is not it and then the same thing could be said with the hunter bolt sniper you could run something like hunter bolt sniper hammer ar shotgun feels mobility you could also swap the hunter bolt sniper or the cobra dmr or the goo gun and i kind of feel like that is kind of the premier loadout this season whatever shotgun you like and then a hammer ar or a, or a chrome burst if i'm using something like the hunter bolt sniper or the goo gun i would go for the hammer ar since it's a little more versatile but using like cobra dmr and burst is pretty good but kind of like the way i feel the cobra dmr the hunter bolt sniper and the goo gun are all kind of competing for the same like slot and then you're going to carry a shotgun and an AR and then heals and mobility. But carrying four guns is just kind of a lot. Even carrying three guns feels like a lot sometimes. And it's possible that this player would like to have some mobility and they just haven't gotten around to finding any yet. I'm not sure. They haven't really done anything. 
um, throughout the course of this game. 19 players remaining. What is this map looking like? Is it a straight desert zone? If I was him, I would go to this. Because odds are with this zone, a lot of people aren't already in the desert. So a lot of people are probably going to be coming on in on this edge of zone. And so you could kind of sit on this vault. You can chill all the way on the balloon if you want. But he could chill on this thing and kind of gatekeep zone with the DMR. Or Hunter Bolt Sniper if that's what you're into. It kind of seems like he's going towards the Flutter Barn. And I'm also not sure if he has any keys. I'm not sure if keys show in the spectating inventory. But I would definitely want to be controlling that thing if I was this player. And it seems like that might be what they're going for. We have people trading shots with the Hunter Bolt. This is like really ideal for him. Those people are going to be easy picking most likely. They're fighting in Rocky and also to the left. See, like like I said, this spot is so good. He, like, he could have eyes on all of this from on top of that platform. I don't want to go. Don't go down there. That's not good. If he goes down into Rocky, the people coming in on this side of his own can third party him. But also where he is right now, he can be third partied by the people in Rocky. Someone's flying above him. I actually like how slow he's shooting the DMR there. I feel like that's something that not a lot of people think about with this DMR. Everyone just kind of full spams it all the time. But I feel like it's kind of best to shoot it at like 80% of the fire rate. I'm amazed that he's still alive. But I feel like it's kind of best to shoot it at like 75, 80% of the fire rate. Wow, Fortnite wants him to win. He just got blank sniped while he was one shot. And this player should have already been killed him. Um... What I was saying there, how slow that player was shooting the DMR was all, like actually quite good, I think. Um, because when you just shoot it as fast as possible, it does have like quite a bit of recoil. But if you just shoot it slightly slower than what the fastest possible is, I feel like it's very accurate. And compensating for recoil on like a semi-auto weapon is kind of weird to do. I don't like that this player is leaving. Maybe he's just checking. Okay, he's going to get on the balloon. I was going to say, you could be up here and hold people. Um, but shooting the DMR slightly slower than what's max, I feel like... Makes it more accurate because compensating for recoil on a semi-auto weapon is kind of weird because it jumps every time you shoot it. Something like the MK7 or the or the combat AR was very gradual rise, so it was like kind of easy to control, I feel like. But semi-auto weapons are a little weirder, so I feel like the only way you can really control the recoil is by shooting a little bit slower. And this player being on this vault and killing the player that we were spectating earlier kind of just immediately shows what I was talking about with like limiting third party potential. I was saying don't go into Rocky because you can get third partied by the other people that were coming in. And then same is true with him going down there. He can get third partied by the Rocky people. But like being on that vault thing just really limits how many people you can get third partied. Whether you want to go up to the top of the balloon or not, if he just was existing on the vault platform... He would have been able to have eyes on the player that he had eyes on. He would have also been able to have eyes on Rocky. And he would have been less likely to get just third party nuked by somebody on the vault structure. So. Yeah. Just that player was, I don't know, exposing themselves to too much. And then Fortnite really wanted them to win. They were at 2 HP. This player couldn't hit a shot. And then they also got blank sniped. I do like this player's loadout though. Like I was talking about. AR, shotgun, DMR. You could do the Hunter Bolt here. You could do the Goo Gun, whatever. This loadout is like both these two guns, the Hammer AR and whatever shotgun you like. They're so versatile that they'll cover most of the range. And then you could just use like the more situational weapon for what you want. The Goo Gun is insane. The Hunter Bolt is insane. And then the Cobra DMR is also quite good, I think. He's going for double heals instead of mobility, but that may have just been what he had access to. I really wish I could see their keys. I don't know if like this player just has no keys or if i just don't see it on the spectator but i definitely would have tried to get that vault open if i was them if i had keys i'm assuming that they just don't have keys because like odds are they probably would have wanted to get that vault open but from that vault they could have gotten potentially a better shotgun also potentially uh mobility and more heals they only have one mini shield we have seven players remaining I feel like this player has decent odds to win. I, I like their loadout. The only thing they're really lacking is mobility and heals. But one kill can change that. If they get a good kill on somebody that's stacked, they can easily get heals. It would be nice to have a better shotgun, but I, I don't think it's like the end of the world if you have a green prime. Like the prime shotgun is just like fine, I think, regardless of rarity. Like the overloaded shot for the green, I think will hit 170. Like when it's fully loaded. Once again, shooting it slowly. He could have shot it faster there, but he probably would have just missed shots anyway. So I think that's the biggest thing you'll notice with the DMR is like shooting it a little bit slower 
then what's max has a decent chance of improving your accuracy, I think. This might be Zemi. That's a Zemi skin. I feel like we would have seen them at Kony, but I mean, I guess we didn't get to spectate. But I fight Zemi a good amount, and it's always at, like, Kony I'll spawn. I kind of want to spectate. I want to see. No! I guess we'll just stay on this guy, because he's probably going to get killed if that is Zemi. Although, this is a different person shooting at him than the one that gooed him. If that superhero skin is... Zemi, they may end up getting grieved here. No, that's... Okay, they're still alive. But yeah, see, he was chasing this kill so hard that that person hiding cost him. And he's dead. And there was Anonymous that probably was Zemi. I will go back and replay mode and look and then edit it in right now. And yes, you see, that is Zemi. So it just goes to show how crazy zero build is. Uh, or how kind of fluky it can be somewhat. Even though he was insane and frying the lobby. Getting poor timing can be all it takes sometimes in zero build, unfortunately. I kind of want to see what ended up killing him. I'm pretty sure it was him over-aggressing on this kill here. Probably because he has 16 kills here. I'm not exactly sure how many people were left alive, but he needed to kill this entire lobby for 20. But it's unfortunate the player that we spectated off spawn burned themselves alive, because I, I think if we stayed spectating people in Kony, we would have gotten a spectate Zemi all game, and that would have been a pretty interesting game to watch. I'm confused how he dies here. Because that was like perfect. That is like best case scenario there is like I thought he got ended up getting fried by the third party. Like I thought he was like forcing the fight on the car and then this player fried him. But he got like perfect engage on this player. I guess he missed where he went to get shot in the back. And then just melted, yeah. That is exactly what I was talking about. Zero build is can be so cheesy in that regard. But I'm gonna edit this into the gameplay before we end up spectating in the game, and as you see. We didn't end up getting into the same game as Zimmy, but unfortunately we didn't spectate them. I don't know if it'll load all the way to where he landed. Yep, he did land at Kony. So if the player just didn't burn themselves alive for no reason, we would have ended up spectating him all game. That's unfortunate because I'm, I'm sure he fried everybody at Kony here. But I'm decently sure that was Zimmy. I run into him a lot, like almost every day, sometimes several times a day. And that, that was how he plays. Really aggro. And I think if... It would have been nice to spectate him off spawn if the player at Kony didn't just burn themselves alive after killing me. Because I'm sure he would have landed Kony with this bus like he typically does. Like I said, I run into him a lot. Oh my gosh. This player might win. It's a 1v1. The other guy was just fighting somewhere over there. He's not going to have a chance to third party it. But that other player fighting is going to um, just give him time to heal at least. You know, if that other player hadn't just fought, he would have gotten third party and probably been just killed immediately because of how weak he was. Get that purple prime. Get the splashes instead. Yeah, use those splashes. Okay, good. He's going to be full HP. Get the minis. I would take the minis over the spray. I would take the minis over the spray. The keys don't matter. You just want to get height now too because he's going to get third party. He doesn't want to be in that ditch as long as he is. Um, Personally, I would take the minis over the spray. I rarely carry white heels. Like, the heels I want... Always chug splashes first and then minis would be like kind of second option. The only time I really run white heals is if I'm running two healing items. If you're only going to run one healing item, I feel like shield is the way to go. And that's just kind of how it's been forever in Fortnite. Pretty much ever since mini shields come out, uh, have came out. Just being able to use a fast heal and a shield item is so nice. Because if, if him and the other person trade shots, let's say he ends up losing all his shield, right? But he tagged the guy back, so it's not like they're pushing right away. He could mini up and then get back to 150, right? But if the player tags him now and that same situation occurs and they trade damage, then what is this player going to do? Run into Storm and get the minis? Like, you're going to lose shield before you lose white. So oftentimes, carrying shield is better, I think. Um, especially minis because you can pop them so regularly. This player only has one kill. And if that was Zemi, we'll find out later. I'll go into replay mode and look. Um, 
that just kind of goes to show how zero build in game can be. Like Zemi is one of the best zero build players in the world, arguably the best zero build player in the world, and solos can just be so timing based, or zero build in general can be so timing based that if you're kind of like too aggro on one kill, somebody hiding can just like completely ruin your game, even if you are much better than them. Um, so goes to show how zero build is when it comes to end game you kind of have to be more passive and kind of respect where hiding players can be because if you get just fried off it's there's sometimes not much you can do to stop yourself from dying or you might just end up getting like perpetually third party to the point where you can't play the game and that's why zero build in game is so campy because the moment you fight you expose yourself to getting third partied and there's nothing you can do about it but that is going to be it for today's video spectating random players in zero build Hope you guys find it helpful and informative. I hope you learned something from some of the more situational things we talked about. If you did, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below what you thought of this and check out the coldest water. It'll be the first link in the description down below.